Welcome back to the SCG Show. I'm your host, SCG, and if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and check out the links in the description below. That being said, let's get into today's video, Signs of a Female Narcissist. Many years, I didn't realize that when you are mask a narcissist, you see a pretty ugly sight. And they might be the most beautiful women and sweetest people on the surface, but like all narcissists, whether they're male or female, when the mask slips, they become pretty evil, horrible people. And they are out there to seek vengeance, cause toxicity, cause drama, and just cause issues into your life. So how this video is going to pan out is I'm going to give several different personal examples of my interactions and experiences with female narcissists over the course of my life up to now. And then I will analyze and give you clear examples of the signs to look out for if you suspect somebody is a female narcissist or has signs of narcissistic personality disorder. That being said, let's go into the first story. So I had a narcissistic ex-girlfriend once and what they do, and what she did in particular, is she lied about her past. She said to me that she never used to date a certain somebody that we both knew, some mutual friend. And then obviously a year later, we'd be at a party and we'd start talking to each other. And uh, we'd meet mutual friends and be like, oh, this is so-and-so, okay. And it turns out they, d they did date this person because this person would open up to me and they say, oh, yeah, we used to... Uh, date once upon a time so what they do is they lie about their past because they are massive liars and like everything in life time is always the greatest revealer so the longer you're with a narcissist the more likely they can't keep up the act the more likely they can't keep up this facade of who they're trying to be in order to get you to do what they want and manipulate you the mask will eventually slip. It always does. Another example was when I was at a party with a female narcissist and we we're having a really good time. This was the first time that she was meeting some friends of mine from school and like we were you know, hanging out. It was a great time. We were having a barbecue in the party. It was all good, all fun. And I left her with some other female friends that I had in the house and I was outside chilling, having a beer and I walked in and she had this solemn look on her face with tears down her face saying yeah it's probably best I go and she storms out of the house and I look at my female friends and think to myself what the hell is going on here what what, what has she done what what what, what is this what, what, you know what, what's happened and they didn't want to get involved they looked like they were at a funeral not a party and they said I think it's best that you go outside and you speak to your girlfriend so I rushed out of the house up the street down the street to catch her and as I grabbed her and turned around she was laughing and smiling I said what the hell is going on here what are you doing and she goes well it wasn't the most exciting party in the world and I got bored I said what so I made up this whole facade that you forced me to come to this party and you forced me to meet your friends when all I wanted to do was just be alone because I'm suffering from a little bit of depression or something I don't know I just like creating drama no mistake that is exactly what she said I just love creating drama especially when I'm bored she booked herself a cab I told her take care all of the best and I never saw her again and with a very very difficult period I had to go back into the house and tell those people who were my friends for many years that I'm sorry for my crazy girlfriend She's not my girlfriend anymore. We have split. I will not tolerate that sort of behavior. And then gradually, you know, took a bit of time. The party got back into full swing. And it was very difficult to <laughs> obviously siphon through all of that. But that's just another example of how toxic these people can be. Here's another story. I had a girlfriend that tried to turn me against my family. And 
tell me that my family are wrong about things, the way I see the world, the way I see religion, the way I conduct myself, you know, be a bit of a rule breaker. That's what they like to be. They don't want to be nice people. They don't have any morals. They have nothing to abide by. They want you to be dangerous. They want you to be difficult. For me, I didn't believe that BS and I would always stand by those who love me and those who care about me, such as my family. And if a toxic individual comes in all of a sudden to make me question my reality and make me question who I'm loyal to and my family morals and even my religion, there's only going to be one answer and that's for me to walk away from such a person, you know. And I've been out with so many narcissistic type of women in the past that they would even fight, yes, verbally, potentially, physically, with members of staff in wait in restaurants like waiters or managers because they're not getting their way or because they feel entitled. It's a big sign that, which I'll move on to later, but I've been sat at a restaurant on my bloody birthday and I'm asking the waitress um, at this lovely restaurant, I'm saying, oh, you know, where are you from originally? And they say, oh, I'm from Italy. Oh, very nice. Okay, I hope you're having uh, a nice day. It's my birthday, obviously, so thank you for giving us such great service. And my narcissistic ex-girlfriends would say, uh, like, I've had this on so many different occasions, but recently they'd say, uh, can you leave us alone, please? Why are you bothering us? This is our meal. You don't need to be here. Go away. Jealousy, obviously, because they can't deal with the fact they're not the center of attention. They're not getting all of the praise. The other woman who happened to have been serving us and giving us fantastic service, who I had to obviously apologize to for this disgusting behavior, you know, she obviously didn't do anything wrong. We also had a big family event which was a very difficult time which I don't want to go into too much detail but it was quite traumatic it was really really horrible and it was sudden and everybody that was involved had to deal with it and we all did extremely well but I had a narcissistic ex-girlfriend at the time that was with me and we we're all just sort of a little bit heartbroken, a little bit all over the place, seeing what happened. It wasn't a death, it was just an incident that occurred. It was totally random, I don't want to go too much detail into it, but we were just there, it just hit us like a ton of bricks, and I think everybody handled it really well. And then as we went home, the narcissist ex-girlfriend is saying to me, you didn't compliment me on my makeup, you didn't compliment me on how good I smell. And I just turned around to her and said, are you bloody kidding me? Look what has happened tonight. Look what we've had to experience. Look what my family and friends have had to go through. And all you care about is how you look? Of course they do. I didn't realize it at the time, but that's what narcissists are like. Another example that I had is they will blame me for their own faults. So, for example, if a narcissist ex-girlfriend started smoking again, binge eating, or they didn't hit their targets or promises or they failed miserably at their work for whatever reason guess who would get the blame me yes a narcissist ex-girlfriend blamed me because she didn't hit her sales target at work i never contacted them i never uh, did anything to do with them i just got on with my day but because they want someone to blame because they don't want to take responsibility for themselves i was the problem i was the issue even recently, it doesn't even have to be narcissistic ex-girlfriends, but when I've been back on the dating scene when I was single, uh, I would receive messages from girls I would meet online or, you know, women I would meet out and talk to them. And one girl just sent me a, a picture of herself as a hello. She was an attractive woman, obviously, and I just replied, you know, very politely. I said, oh, hey, how's it going? You having a good day? And then, obviously, I was subject to so much ridiculous of a reaction where she goes oh my god I can't believe you didn't tell me how beautiful I am how amazing I look how gorgeous I am what sort of guy are you I only I hadn't even gone out on a date properly with this girl and I said to her I'm so sorry it's not going to work out I am not going down this <laughs> this road again take care goodbye and the final example I'll give you just so you can have an idea of the different types of things they do and maybe you can resonate with these stories and write your own stories below is I was taking a very attractive woman that I had met at a function out on a date and we had a very nice date we spoke for ages 
we spoke about life, we spoke about work, and we got along quite well. And about a week later, I said to her, listen, I'd like to take you to a restaurant, we'll go out for dinner. And she goes, yeah, that sounds great. So I picked her up in the car, and we're driving down a country road in the middle of the night. It was winter, it was very cold as well. And as we're driving down there, she turns around to me, all sweet and everything. She goes, so where are we going to eat? I said, well, we're going to this restaurant. And she goes, I'd never heard of it. Um, where is it? And I said, oh, it's in this area in London. Uh, now, this area in London is not a bad area, but it's not a good area. It's just a little bit in between. But this venue and this restaurant is actually very nice. But the second I told her the area that we're going to, that's when the mask slipped and she absolutely screamed at me. It was so dangerous. Oh my God, I can't believe we're going to this area. I'm going to get stabbed. You're going to kill me. You're going to... And I just said to her, whoa, 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 calm down. Where the hell did this come from? She goes, I'm not going there. You, you better take me home or I'm going to grab the wheel. Yep, I'm going to grab the wheel and I'm going to swerve it out of control. So what I did is I pulled over and I very calmly said to her, I said, listen, if you... Calm down, I'm going to drop you off at a station or you can call yourself a cab because I am absolutely not going any further with you. And then she was screaming and shouting, she threatened to get violent and then I asked her politely to leave the car in which she did screaming and shouting and I just left her by a bus stop. I don't care where she went, I don't know where she went and I blocked her number and I never spoke to her again. So those are some pretty detailed and very personal examples of female narcissists that I have experienced in my life definitely over the last 10 years. The reason why I started this video with uh, some stories and experiences is because I wanted to show you how much of a personal impact these people have had. Now I see a lot of the funny side but I also see a lot of the darkness behind narcissism particularly in women and there's not a lot of content like I said on YouTube about this subject because yes I can understand there's a lot of oppressed people and a lot of people that have been severely damaged and that are victims of narcissistic abuse that are female I understand that but there's a lot of guys as well who have experienced female narcissism and it's pretty much on the rise with them as well and it can be a very dark dangerous place I look back on it now and in all those instances I've probably composed myself quite well but at the time I was quite scared I was quite nervous and also I was very confused I didn't know what the hell was going on and that's why I decided to study narcissism a bit more and do a lot more research and watch a lot more videos and content to kind of broaden my horizons and understanding of what is going on with these people and if you are unsure whether you are with a female narcissist or not I'm going to give you several signs to look out for in order to protect yourself because trust me the longer you stay with a narcissist the worse things get it rarely improves particularly if you're an empathetic person as well luckily I've always been able to a degree to stand up to, for myself but I never understood what was going on now that I do Hopefully this knowledge and this advice you can use to your own benefit so you can protect yourself and make a very difficult and conscious decision to walk away and go no contact and keep your distance from narcissistic women in the future and beyond. So the first sign to look out for is they always want to be the center of attention. They almost see themselves as celebrities, seriously. They want to hog the limelight, especially from somebody or something they view as a threat. No amount of attention is ever enough for them either. The female narcissist could have everything, a loving family, whatever, but she would still step outside of her most intimate relationships to seek the thrills of the attention of strangers and other people. Yep. She will manufacture situations of conflict, drama, to get the focus back onto her and her deliberate crazy-making and toxicity just like that story I told you of the girl that created drama at the party she'll make your compliments uh, accomplishments and struggles all about herself she will continuously steer conversations back to her without fail time and time again to highlight her own perceived achievements or to stage pity ploys that make her seem like the victim when she is always the culprit and she's always causing the problems unfortunately 
They are also social media obsessed to the point they are absolutely addicted to it because what social media does for a female narcissist is it gives them this false validation it gives them likes it gives them comments it gives them hearts it gives them a platform to show off that's what they want to do they're showing off to feel loved and adored but like i said they could have an amazing partner they could have a relationship they could have family they could have genuine real things but they'll search for the fake things because essentially that's what social media is if you're not careful it's just a cesspool of narcissists and other people just looking for that validation looking for those likes looking for those comments looking for those hearts and the female narcissist thrives off it everywhere they go they are taking photos doing selfies doing videos doing updates of where they are because it's not about them being happy about where they are or anything like that it's about showing their audience in adverted commas that look at what i'm up to you better be jealous of what i'm doing and what you're not what you're not doing look at my life look at me look at me look at me and that's what social media unfortunately breeds in these people now like narcissists of all genders there is absolutely zero empathy from them. when they see someone hurting even if they cause that pain they're unlikely to feel any shame or remorse at all their shallow nonchalant questions about your welfare your life your well-being your goals are often reframed and rerouted to how does this serve me and their own needs they only care about the plight of others so long as it relates to them and their agenda and their plan always if you're feeling sick for example or you really need a listening ear someone to listen to she's nowhere to be found unless it benefits her somehow i had this so many times i just wanted to talk just wanted someone to hear me and feel my pain or whatever i was going through forget it you're never going to get it it's not going to happen female narcissists suffer from extreme bouts of jealousy extreme jealousy what did i experience this first hand and it was awful remember the waitress story female narcissists they will act aggressive to undermine and extinguish those they perceive to be threats and in their eyes almost everything and anyone else is a threat this means you'll find them underhandedly working behind the scenes to one up you about everything they'll sabotage your most personal and longest relationships they'll spread rumors about you they'll do a smear campaign ensuring that any attention or recognition that would have been paid to you gets outsourced to them or one of their cronies aka their flying monkeys the people they get sending out to do their dirty work they are jealous of everything and everyone they haven't got a good bone in their body i've never been a jealous person but goodness gracious me these people are so be prepared to be in competition with everything because that's what they perceive you are to, and that's what they think you're doing like all narcissists the female narcissists cannot take criticism and they hate it their rage is not is a bit like a man's rage but because of social stigma surrounding female anger the narcissistic female may communicate her rage in a few more subtle ways you will hear her, her backhanded compliments with a sweet smile she'll voice insults couched in concern or put downs and humiliate you in public with like sad stories or public stories that you didn't want people to know about and she's telling you about it she does all of this while maintaining a pristine polished image to the rest of the world where she's actually really doing a smear campaign to your face because you criticized her and if she's more of an overt narcissist and you told her she's done something wrong she may throw objects lash out in verbal attacks or even escalate to physical violence depending on where she falls on this narcissistic spectrum wherever it is dude be careful and this could be women as well just be careful okay you don't have to tolerate any of that behavior and you're most likely criticizing them for them doing something wrong or disrespectful or hurting you you have absolutely every right to say what you did in a polite manner and if they react the wrong way it's their problem not yours just make sure that you're safe as i mentioned already they cause drama and they cause chaos and they try to sabotage relationships and friendships she may use her affiliation with her target 
to gain access to resources or status, for example like Meghan Markle did with Prince Harry. But as soon as the idealisation phase is over, the devaluation and discard normally follows. She then engages in rumour mongering, smear campaigns, she'll create triangles where she feeds others false or humiliating information about their victim. I've experienced that, of course. She may pit her friends against each other because it's fun in her eyes by claiming they are gossiping about each other because, like I said, she gets off on that when, in fact, it is her toxicity, it's her problems that are causing people to fall out. By subjecting her victims to covert and overt put-downs, she's able to then conform her own false sense of superiority. They're like a tornado of destruction they come in and they just want to destroy everything in their past because that is what gives them life that's what gives them zest that is what they want they love drama and chaos and problems so like all narcissists whether they are male or female there's only one solution and i applied this solution to my life and i suggest you do the same and it's very, very, very simple. Walk away, my friend. Yeah, you heard me. Walk away. And go no contact. Stick to it. Ride the wave. Ride the hoovering. Ride the smear campaigns. Ride the flying monkeys. Because you are going to be okay. Your life will be fine. Everything's going to be alright. I'm proof of that. Okay, and there are many others. There are people out there that are healthier for you, that are better for you, and care about you, and will make your life better. You do not need to tolerate narcissists of any sort, male or female, in your life. If I've left any signs of female narcissism out, please write them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, do your research. Everything's going to be all right. Stand up for yourself. Have good boundaries. Heal yourself. And this is SCG signing off.